What's going on everybody? My name is Uppy and thank you so much for clicking on today's video. And today we're gonna to be talking about some wedding photography gear. Let's do it. Now I also film weddings as well, but I'll talk about the gear I use and all of that in a separate video. Cause for this one, I just wanna focus on the photography side. Now, before we jump in, I just wanted to mention that yes, having the right gear is important, but that doesn't mean you need to have the newest gear. I'm a big advocate for using what you have and using what works with your style. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's jump right into it. Now, first things first, the camera. I always make sure I carry at least two camera bodies with me at every wedding. So a backup camera is super essential just in case something happens to your main. Another thing is having a camera with dual card slots is something you shouldn't be living without. The most important thing to remember on a wedding day is to have backups of backups. For me, I love using the trusty old 5D Mark III. These cameras are still amazing for how old they are. They're super reliable, have amazing image quality, they're great in low light, and they're so easy to use. Now I know with all the new fancy camera gear that gets released every year, it's very tempting to upgrade, but these cameras are still so amazing and it's never failed me. I love the images they produce and my clients love the images they produce, so I don't really have a reason to switch. Now, like I mentioned, I always make sure my cameras are using their dual card slots. For me, I use the SanDisk Extreme Pros. Now, I don't know if these are the best on the market or the most reliable or anything like that. It's just what I've always used and I've never had any issues with them and they work perfectly. I always make sure I have one 128 gig SD card and also one 120 gig, 20 gig, 128 gig CF Express card and I make sure the images are being copied to both. Remember, backups on backups. Now the next thing is lenses. For me, I like to keep my lenses super simple. For about 80% of the day, I'm mainly shooting on my Sigma 35 1.4. Now I know some people have their own opinions about Sigma, but for me, I absolutely love everything about it. The focus is sharp and very quickly, and the focal length is so versatile that you can pretty much use it for anything. You can use it for beautiful wide landscape style shots to showcase the space and also the area, but you can also take a few steps in closer and get some beautiful intimate portraits with it. If I could only have one lens for the rest of my life, it would definitely be the 35 Sigma. So the other lens I keep on my second camera body is the 50mm Canon 1.2. This focal length is a little bit closer, so I mainly use this for portraits and when I can't get as close to the action as I'd like. For example, during the ceremony when I'm a little bit back, or during the reception when I'm trying to capture those beautiful candid guest reactions. My style is all about getting in close and capturing those raw, authentic moments. So having a combination of the 35 and the 50 mil works perfectly. So the next thing is flash. Now this flash is super old school and it's literally had pieces falling off it and I don't think they make this anymore, but it still works and I've never had any issues. It is the Sigma EFDGST. I'll only use this during the reception when the lighting is just super, super dark. And it works great for some group shots at night and during the dances. Now the next thing is dual straps. One of the first things I thought were a gimmick when I first got into wedding photography was the dual straps that the photographers would use. But I have to say this is one of the best things you can buy when you're starting out. A typical wedding day can go on for eight to 12 hours and having the dual straps keeps the camera from sliding off your shoulders and also evenly distributes the weight across your back, which means it is just so much easier to carry the weight around. After hours and hours of carrying a camera with the single strap, you know, the strap that the camera comes with, like it gets very uncomfortable and your back gets so sore. So trust me, get yourself a dual strap. Plus, you look like a cool cowboy. And last but not least, batteries. On a typical wedding day, we might go through one or two batteries, but always make sure we have a bunch fully charged in the bag. Trust me, there is nothing worse than noticing your camera is about to die and you don't have a spare battery. So make sure you guys do yourself a favor and pick up a bunch of batteries as well. So that is pretty much everything I bring on a typical wedding day. I just like to keep the gear simple and minimal as possible because having to carry less stuff around actually makes the job a whole lot easier, which in return makes me do a better job. But I'd love to know your thoughts. Are you currently shooting weddings? What do you take to your wedding day? And if you're just getting into weddings, what are some of the pieces of gear I use that you might want to pick up as well? I'll add links to everything I mentioned 
links in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful at all, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys subscribed, left a like and commented down below. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.